Good morning. How's everyone doing? Hope you're well. It's pretty clean out there. High tide. Should drain. There's a fair amount of swell around. Oh my goodness. Got to get into that thing somehow. Closed out. Next section. It's tricky out there, guys. It's is top to bottom, but then it gets narrow. It's quite tricky out there. How's the how's this side? Yeah. This back one. Look at that thing. Next section. That's more like. Uh, yeah, that's the section right there. Yeah, I reckon. Hey guys, from Eco Surf Supply and Grow Blanks. Grow Blanks and Eco Surf Supply, thank you for the 6 4. Appreciate it. There's so many takeoff sections. There's one wide one, there's like a full section there. There's just one over here that's just barreled and kegged. And then obviously, you've got that inside draining section. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. My plan was to go there until the tide drains and then come back over here when it's a bit shallower. Like, look at that thing, it's definitely begun. I'm just going to try to get into the session and not claim it too much and hopefully get wave of the winter. At least wave of the day. I just need to get a bit deep on them. Just for the record, I've missed two really good waves already. One like medium set and one proper set. That would have been the wave of the day for me. Oh well. well there's a turtle. Friday guys, I really did. I was kind of there. Should have just punched it. I tried to punch it. What I could have done to help me make that wave is pull up into the top right hand corner of the frame, angle the board up to the horizon. Um, I sort of like angled just slightly down because uh, yeah, I didn't do what I, what I was meant to do. That's pretty much the reason why I didn't make that barrel. Could have easily punched you that. Just need to go up in the top corner.
redirect it there and try to get like a little cover up cut too much speed off which sort of like didn't give me momentum like into the bowl into the trough pretty much i think the weight broke on me and then like grabbed the back of my board and sort of just unsaddled me Pretty much barreling wave for wave. It's really good. Conditions are extremely good. Just keep going. Hopefully, get a crazy good one. I pulled back on that big one. All the others that I've gone on have been like half a size. On a small one, yeah. Sets are draining on the inside. Darren wants me to go over there. It's insane, but there's multiple sections. Some of them are collapsing. section down the line just barreling down the line still going super good out here I was a little bit inside on that one a little bit underneath it prefer to just get a bit more of a scoop in otherwise I'll get into like the first section but I'll just won't make it past the next so yeah maybe I'm doubting myself but I wouldn't mind something that's more responsive a bit more narrower so I can like when I whip it down the line it comes with me It's too, or too far behind. what happens when you're too far behind and it hasn't hit the shelf yet it gets a bit narrow obviously it bottomed out like past where I was but that's what happens definitely a little insider that's not little another one I'm not deep enough struggling to get a wave out here guys I've been waiting for a long time definitely out here
no, I definitely learned. 19.40, it's a little bit too wide for me. Max 19 and a quarter or 19.20. And then uh, a little bit thicker than 2.5, like 2.6. And then, uh, yeah, 6.4s, six 6.6s six all the way. 6.6s six for when it gets big, 6.4s for when it's like this. And you can even ride a 6.1 out here, smaller boards. It's quite uh, pretty easy on the corner here. So I moved a little bit of spots, or move spot, move spot. There is a crazy section over here, obviously. That's quite mental. But another like unsettled section over here, but it seems to like be collecting and filling up and kegging a bit. I'm not quite sure what the plan is, but the biggest sets are like at least given an opportunity to catch them over here so i'm just going to sit here and maybe get a little barrel like just on this corner that's what i'm going to try at least super friendly out here guys so I am being careful another quiet session today guys not really making the most of it trying my best but a little bit cold apprehensive the ways are difficult they lined up but there's no sand over here the section down there it's like the points already absorb so much of the energy by the time it gets there so it's a little bit smaller and then there's an inside peak um, at that heavy detonating wave that's just like closing out and Breaking extremely hard, not safe to surf, but yeah, it is what it is. We out here. Hopefully, get a nice streamer. Use that wave as a reposition, guys. I'm not quite sure how much more longer I'm gonna stay out here. I've got a couple pulled back on the best one. I need to go back there now. It just came from there and the squarest wave came through. Guys, I just can't get in the zone. Now this one, sort of where I was again. Just something like that, eh? Perfect wave. This one, yeah? You can take off on that thing.
Still don't have my equipment sorted it's a bit of a problem these waves are definitely higher grade and when you paddle for these things you put your head down you scoop in as hard as you can paddle in a couple extra strokes and get your feet as fast as you can and while you get into your feet you're setting your rail at the same time different uh, different strategies to catch waves depending on the quality of the wave what sort of waves you're surfing if you're surfing just average waves yeah there's a whole bunch of different ways to uh paddle into them but when you're surfing heavy waves Depends on the takeoff, you know, but if it's heavy like this and there's no chip shot, fast, quick to your feet, as fast as you can. <laughs> 